Hey guys, in this part six, again, one missing on the playlist for some reason, our Muslim apologist Hamza repeats his mistakes and shows he still does not understand the concept of belief. He can't get his brain to process this concept and he's not willing to learn either. He doesn't stop talking long enough to be able to listen and to absorb information that is given to him. But it doesn't stop him from patting himself on the shoulder when nobody else does or would. Now, this statement oh, right now you should have atheist triggered. makes it quite obvious that he's not interested in a dialogue, but only tries to do one thing, and that is catch out atheists, make them look less rational and feel great for having this gotcha moment. He seems to think that making others look foolish somehow elevates his silly beliefs, showing his utterly primitive and very basic thinking ability. He doesn't even seem to understand what Ricky Gervais is saying when he pointed out that theists reject 2,999 gods for the same reasons I reject all 3,000 of them. You don't believe in 2,999 gods, and I don't believe in just one more. Right. <laughs> Our little Hamza is not a great thinker, it seems. But what is actually quite hilarious is him saying we need to understand the words we are using, when he really does not. What you have to first do is we have to understand the words we're using. He totally bungles the part where he attempts some sort of explanation regarding belief. And our old beliefs true, even if even though you don't need proof of them. Again, he is displaying his level of ignorance, throwing around words like True and proof? Come on, they're both useless here. No, not all beliefs are true. No, not all beliefs are wrong. And Islam and Christianity are similarly illogical, immoral and disgusting. So there's no need to rejoice. Because that's all we have right now is belief. No, you, you don't only have belief. You have faith. Why can't you accept? Why can't you understand this? Accept it. Ask somebody who can explain it to you. I tried explaining this in a in a video. So why doesn't he just research a little bit or ask me how can I understand this and I'll give it to him. It's free of charge. And I explain it so that it's like guessing the number of gumballs in the machine is equal to even, which is a belief requiring no evidence whatsoever. It's just a conviction. You, the person, must be convinced that a belief is justified for some reason, that the number is even. If you then check your belief by talking about it to others to get their views and comparing it to reality, if you go and you try and verify or, or try to exclude falsification, you have now a justified belief, which can be further substantiated through experience, like experiments, observation, as in actually counting the gumballs in this example to arrive at knowledge, reliable and tested. <laughs> now, if a belief can be neither verified nor falsified, it is faith. And that is exactly what we have on display here with the God claims. And it's an elevated version of faith where there is contradicting information available, what I call blind faith unwilling to even examine other possibilities. But calling those who make suggestions Islamophobes, haters and racists. And that is the proverbial bigot. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.